let's be clear here, you've worked in local authorities all your life, sometimes as yeah. a permanent member of staff. But such yes. is the way things work, people at home will understand if you are a contract worker, if you are freelance, if you work on a short-term basis, you often go through agencies. Yes. And these agencies were telling you that you were going to get paid in a certain way and that all of the tax, the PAYE, the national insurance, would be sorted yeah. out by them or the employer. Yes. And that yes, didn't absolutely. happen. And HMRC are coming after you. Who do you think yeah. they should be going after? <laughs> the, the agencies that sold these schemes and, and told us that, you know, they were compliant with... I mean, they sent me tax returns every year and I, I had no reason you. They to took the money from you, from you. You saw that money coming out of your wage and you presumed it was going to pay your tax? Yes, absolutely, yes. And I, they sent me their tax, my tax returns. Um, they sent me copies of my tax returns, so I just thought everything was above board. I'd worked for local authorities all my life since leaving school, so, you know, I had no reason to doubt that um, these agencies weren't compliant or they were doing anything untoward. So I had no idea until these letters dropped through my letterbox. And... and Currently, HMRC are chasing you for £44,000, which is a huge amount of money. As you said, you're 65. <laughs> you've stopped yeah. working, you've paid your dues and you thought you were paying your taxes. Yeah. What kind of effect yeah. has that had on you, Angela? Because that must be hugely stressful. I mean, you started out with a seven grand bill, which is bad enough. £44,000 yeah, well, that you've got I had to pay small, out of nowhere. Um, I had a small working pension from one of my local authority jobs that kicked in when I was 60. So I offered to pay them £150 a month, um, which I have been doing for the last four years. And then when I got the last, the last demand, that was just that just floored me. So no, it affected me to the point where I'm now on anti-anxiety drugs. I have panic attacks, um, depression. It's it, process. I've got no life anymore. I've just uh, it's just taken it's taken my life away.